Stay on top of everything that happens with the Canadians, the greatest champion of NHL story. Subscribe to our channel. Montreal Canadiens fans, brace yourselves for an exciting update on the state of your favorite hockey team. Despite their current position in the standings with a 2-0-2-7-4 record and 44 points in 51 games, there are still plenty of reasons to be optimistic about the future. While the Canadians finished last place in the league during the 2021-2022 season, they are currently doing better, especially when compared to the six teams below them in the standings. Together, we can spread the latest Canadians news. Leave your like, thanks, however, as the 2023 NHL entry draft approaches with a wealth of talented players waiting to be drafted. Some may argue that the Canadians are not doing badly enough to secure a top draft pick. In light of this, we have compiled a list of the top five Canadians players who are overperforming and doing their best to sabotage the team's rebuilding efforts. Starting off at number five, we have Raphael Harvey Pinard, who has been with the Canadians for just seven games but has already made a significant impact. With three direct points to his name and five goals in seven games, Harvey Pinard is earning himself a longer look with the team. He was previously the top scorer for the Laval Rocket and is being compared to a young Brendan Gallagher so it's only a matter of time before he becomes a fan favorite. Next up at number 4 is Sean Monaghan, who was instrumental in the Canadiens' early success this season, providing valuable secondary scoring and helping the team maintain their playoff aspirations. Unfortunately, Monaghan got injured and the Canadiens have struggled without him, but he remains a crucial part of the team's future. At number 3, we have Kirby Dak, who has exceeded expectations as the team's number 2 center. Despite initial doubts about his face-off abilities, Dak has improved significantly and is now producing career-high numbers with 33 points in 51 games. He has especially been performing well since the end of the Canadian seven-game losing streak. At number two, we have Cole Cofield, who is having a remarkable season with 26 goals in 46 games, putting him on pace for 46 goals this season. Cofield has been consistently producing points, even when the team was at their lowest point, and many believe he deserved to represent the Canadians at the All-Star game over Nick Suzuki. Finally, at number one, the player who is arguably doing the most to wreck the Canadians' rebuild is. Well, you'll just have to stay tuned to find out. In conclusion, despite their current position in the standings, the Canadians have plenty of reasons to be optimistic with the performances of these top five players. Leave your opinion about this news in the comments. We want to know if you think this will help the Canadians win.